Hi there, it's Sarah of Black Spiker here. Today I want to talk to you about high level accountability, 3D, 4D, 5D reality, and why it is crucial for those of us who are spiritual beings, transformative mentors and coaches to surround ourselves with people who have the capacity, who have the knowledge, who have the willingness, ability, capability, and skill to share the energy with us, to hold space for us, to hold this vision with us, as opposed to bringing it back and pointing out all the things that are not quite there yet. Let me get right into it. As somebody who has been a master manifester since I can remember, I know that for many of those years, I did not have the concept, I did not have the framework, I did not have the point of reference to actually articulate what is it that I was experiencing and how this process actually worked for me. All I know, looking back, was like, well, at one point I had this idea and desire and sooner rather than later, it had manifested itself. Now, all these years later, all of these years of practicing and studying and applying and uh, growth and expansion and also the years of failure, the years of pain, the years of being tested and pushed to the limit and uh, literally brought it to the ground, <laughs> burning anything, everything to the ground, including. Um, it has taught me that there is something very sacred for people like myself in this creation and manifestation process. And this is the space we are con where we allow ourselves and space where we create for ourselves to be connected to the source energy, to the space where our senses are amplified, they are magnified and they transcend this 3D reality. Because that's where we envision, that's where we create. And from that space, we then bring it and upgrade our 3D reality. So this morning I woke up very tense and in a conversation that followed, I was triggered because I was reminded of all that there isn't in my 3D reality. And the person simply thought that they were holding me accountable in certain ways. They were like, well, how is this working out? How is this? Where is that? What about this? What about that? And I could see myself experiencing this visceral reaction. And because of all the work, all the practice, all the training, all the learning that I have put into this journey to get to the point where I am, and by the way, I'm not kidding anybody, I still have a long way to go, just like all of us, right? Because of that, I was able to catch myself and I was able to catch this little voice coming up that wanted to go, yeah, see, this person's right. You absolutely suck. You absolutely have no idea. See, you're not fooling anybody. Instead of doing this, you're doing that. And, you know, I could see the whole spiral a whole lot of stories wanting to come up. And because of all the training, I was able to catch it, process it, and release it. And instead of it becoming a whole ordeal that would overcome me for the whole day, or a whole week, or a whole month, or even a year, I have been there, by the way. It's not a pleasant experience, but it's a glorious one that allowed me to grow because of that, I was able to catch it and maybe took a couple of moments, like, oh, look, rearranging things, redefining things, releasing my expectations or stories or commitments. And I was like, oh, done, right? Um, but it reminded me of how important it is for us to surround ourselves with people who, you know, as much as we love them, there are simply certain conversations that we need to set boundaries around and simply communicate that we are not available for certain conversations with certain people. Simply because every time we get down to the 3D reality and choose to pay attention to all that isn't, 
we are risking bringing more of that into reality and creating the same of what comes next. Let me rephrase that. How we respond is what we create next and what we are served next. So by being triggered would mean that I am reactive now from this space and I'm focusing on all the gaps and leaks and bottlenecks and um, all the lack, which would, which would mean that I would be creating and bringing in simply more of the same thing. However, when I choose to distance myself and when I choose to do the work and when I choose to release and when I choose to ground myself and I would choose to reconnect with this source energy, I was able to elevate myself above all of that and really tap into this bigger vision. And I was able to not just tap into it momentarily, but with all these years of practice, I have created... <sighs> Is, it cre is the word creating? <laughs> I guess it would be one of the way to describe it. Um, I have practiced and built up the capacity, the stamina, the endurance to now hold this vision also and continuously holding it while is it manifesting itself into 3D reality while I'm able to be in the both worlds, while I'm able to, yes, have those regular conversations, but not being triggered and still being in the space where I consistently envision, where I'm consistently creating on a subconscious level and where I'm consistently creating and bringing things and rearranging. And it's like, Ooh, look, this is done. What's next? So <laughs> I wanted to share this with you because we often are talking about accountability because we often talk about accountability and I just want you to differentiate between the typical, so to speak, accountability when you are going to be held accountable and to check off all the boxes to fulfill all the expectations and you are going to be pointed out to all of those things that are, aren't, especially when you share that this is what is that you're creating and this is what is that you desire. It's going to be like, oh, this is what you said, but look at your reality. Da, 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 da. It's not quite there yet, right? And it is so tempting to contract and to go back and small, make ourselves smaller and be like, oh, yeah, I suck. You know, that's right. I'm incapable. Who do I think I am? And all the fears and doubts are coming up and all the stories are coming up. And before you know it, you're going to die in a spiral. High level accountability, on the other hand, is possible with those people that I mentioned earlier who have the skill, who have the ability, who have the will, who have the knowledge of how, who have the capacity, who are available to share this energy with you, to hold this vision with you and to create with you and who are only concerned and committed to helping you stay in the alignment to make sure that your thoughts, your beliefs, your actions are congruent with what is required to bring this big vision into reality. Yes, there will be practical, you know, um, very pragmatic ways that, you know, we still have to function in 3D, right? And that said, they will have the ability to remind you almost and bring you up and elevate you when you kind of forget to do that for yourself or will help you. Um, one of the beautiful visuals is like um, an angel with broken wings. When your wings get bruised or broken, they will help you heal your wings so that you can fly again. Um, and those are the people who I personally admire, respect, crave and I'm very protected of protective of because now this is the sacred space in which we co-create and again it's only possible when we for ourselves when we set the boundaries and when we set the expectations and when we do the work because that is the hard work that it takes to create the world the reality that we desire to manifest our desires <sighs> 